Hi, this is Bill, the Techno Gypsy, coming to you from the Technog Command Center. This video is about a Raspberry Pi application that I find very useful in my development environment. As most of you are aware, the Raspberry Pi is popping up in all sorts of DIY projects and embedded systems. With the introduction of the latest Raspberry Pi 3B+, Plus, the capabilities of the little board have become pretty amazing. It has a quad-core 64-bit processor, clocked at 1.4 GHz, 1 GB of LPDDR2 SRAM, dual-band 2.4 and 5 GHz wireless LAN interfaces, Bluetooth 4.2 with support for Bluetooth Low Energy, or BLE, and a high-speed Ethernet interface supporting up to 300 megabits per second. As such, more complex programming techniques can be used in your software development efforts. What is Conkey? It's a free, lightweight system monitor for X-Base systems. It can display virtually any kind of information about your system on the desktop. It is licensed under the terms of the GPL, V3, and BSD licenses. Conkey can display more than 300 built-in objects including support for OS stats, such as CPU usage, memory usage, network status, and even access web pages on the Internet. Take a look at the README file on GitHub for the specifics. This is one of my Raspberry Pi 3s running Conkey. I have mine configured to show the current date and time in both local and UTC time, CPU core utilization, memory utilization, swap size, wired and wireless connection stats, and the current AMCON condition level from the AMRON website. Why do I use it? It allows me to see how the internals of the system are performing. If you are programming in a single threaded language like Python, you may not need Conkey. But if you are programming in C++ or a newer language such as Google's Go, you can implement true multi-threaded code. Conkey allows me to see how the threads are being distributed across the four cores and how they are performing. Google's Go language makes creating and communicating between threads very easy. Here's how you install Conkey on your Raspberry Pi. First thing we're going to do is to open up a command window. And we are going to type sudo apt-get install conkey dash y and then enter we wait for this to complete And now we have Conkey installed. Now that we have the software downloaded and installed, let's configure the application. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a Conkey.sh or Conkey shell file in the user bin directory. So using nano, I'm going to type sudo nano forward slash user forward slash bin forward slash Conkey dot sh enter the first line that we want to put on the end of this file is pound sign exclamation mark bin sh that tells a, the system that this is a shell file we're going to sleep for four seconds and then invoke Conkey. And we're going to throw Conkey into the background. And then we are going to exit. Then we do a control O, write the shell file, and then control X. Now the next thing we have to do is to set up the auto startup. 
So I'm going to file up the editor again. So sudo to put me in root command mode. Nano home pi dot config lx session forward slash lxde dash pi forward slash auto start. I hope I got that one right. Nope, I didn't. So let me get out of that. Come back. That's a lowercase p. That looks a lot better. And down here is where you put the at conky. And that means that whenever it brings up the GUI, it'll start up the conky application itself. So you save that file and then exit. And now we can go to the command line and just type conky. And you'll see that it comes up with a really bad looking display over here on this side. Uh, one of the biggest problems you get into is if you don't have a conky.rc file, excuse me, a .conky RC file, you end up with the stock conky configuration file, which is not very useful. So now we're going to go through the steps to download the configuration file that I wrote, and I'll show you how to install it onto the system. To make this a little easier, I've written a configuration script that you can download from my GitHub account. Here's how you download and install the configuration script. So the next thing that we're going to do is open up a browser. And we are going to wait for it to open up. And we're going to put in the following web address. And it'll take us to github.com, then a forward slash technog, T E C H N O G dash lowercase i n c. We come over here and we click on Conkey Scripts. And on Conkey Scripts, go to the Conkey RC. And this is the configuration script file that I put together with help from quite a few other people to make Conkey look pretty. Now, if you come over here to the raw side, that removes all the line numbers off the file. So we're going to highlight the whole file. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't like to do it. There we go. Copy this. We're going to come back to the Pi, check the directory that we're in, which is forward slash home forward slash Pi. I'm going to create a file and name it dot conky RC. We're going to come into this file and paste the script. And you can see that the whole script is there, all of the commands and configurations. So now I'm going to do a control O to write it. And a control X to come out of it. I can close the command window and close the GitHub window. And let's do a reboot and see what it looks like.
And there you have the Conkey running. I named mine Bill's Pi 3 Linux. Here's your local time, Zulu time, CPU utilization on all four cores, the amount of memory being utilized, swap. This is the Ethernet network interface, and this is the inbound and outbound from my wireless connection. So if I come over here and I open a browser, we can watch the load on the four cores change. So that's how you install and completely configure the Conkey product. I hope you found this video informative and useful. If you do, please subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of videos in the plan exploring new technologies and other areas of interest to me. If you would like to help support my endeavors financially, please check out my Patreon page at www.patreon.com forward slash Technog. This is Bill, the Techno Gypsy, saying 7-3, and God bless.